What's happening, everybody? This your guy Dan Tanner from Tanner Does Tech, you know what I mean? I made this video because I know there's a lot of people out there that's experiencing the same thing that I did. Now, I just bought me a brand new, beautiful Dell computer, you know? Has Windows 10 on deck, touch screen and everything, you know? First couple of days I get the computer, everything is running A1, straight up quality, right? Day three comes, Windows rolls out an update, but that's normal, so I let the computer update do what it do. Then when the computer restarted and everything, so I said, okay, let me go ahead and go to YouTube, watch some videos and all that. So I started watching some YouTube videos, and I'm noticing that there's a lot of static in the audio, you know? And sometimes the audio will freeze up, and it makes that rolling sound, the sound that sounds like stuff like that. So I'm like, okay, well, maybe YouTube is tripping. Let me go to Pandora, play one of my Pandora stations and see if that's better. Go to Pandora, same damn issue. But I didn't panic, you know, I got a background in computer maintenance and repair, so I knew exactly what to do. So now I'm gonna show you. All right, let's take it to the screen and make this happen. Okay, excuse me. Look at that background, people. That's the Toyota concept car, sick, right? All right, cool. What you want to do is you want to go to the bottom left-hand corner of your screen where you see that we see those four squares right there. That is the Windows logo. So click on that, and in the and in the bar that says "Ask Me Anything," type in the word "device." And at the top of the list, as you see, "Device Manager" will pop up. Click on that, and boom. There's a list of all the devices that's on your laptop or computer or whatever. Now, up under your name at, at, of, of your computer or whatever you named your computer, there's a selection that says audio inputs and outputs. Click on the arrow to open it up. Go down to speakers slash headphones, real tech audio. All right, highlight that, right click it. Now go down to properties. Click on that. Now at the top, you're gonna see general, driver, details, and events. Click on driver. You're gonna see the selections. Driver details, update driver, rollback driver, which ain't highlighted, I'll explain why in a minute. Disable and uninstall. Now the first thing I did was, since I, I found out or heard that the audio driver wasn't working and it has a lot of static in it, I clicked on update driver, updated the driver, restarted the computer. And it worked for five minutes, but then again, after five minutes, the static monster came back in and it started doing what it was doing <laughs> right before I started to fix it. It was really messing up bad. So I thought to myself, well, hell, when I first got the computer, the audio was perfect. So that's when I selected the next, um, the next selection on the list, rollback driver. I clicked on that and a window popped up that asked me why did I want to roll back the driver. So I selected that the audio was bad or whatever. As Soon as I clicked that, it rolled back the driver, computer restarted, and the audio was perfect, right? Okay, that's cool. I'm using certain softwares for certain things, so I need my HD video. That's the only thing that was wrong with when I rolled back my driver. So I'm like, damn, I can't use my HD sources anymore. So what I did was I went back to device manager, this screen right here, and clicked on update driver. Clicked on that. Everything started working beautifully after the computer um, did its process and restarted. Beautiful, so that fixed that. But here's one more thing you gotta check. Let me get out of here. You wanna go down to where it says sound, video, and game controllers. Hit that arrow. Go down to Real Tech Audio, highlight that, right click it, go down to Properties, go to Drive on that, on, on that right there, on that tab, I mean, in this section right here, and do the exact same thing for this here. And I'm telling you, <laughs> when I did these few things right here, that solved the static issue in the damn Windows 10 flawlessly. You know what I mean? So I just saved your life, saved you a whole lot of time and money and everything, but hey, 
that's what China Does Tech is here for. I do more than review gadgets, apps, games, and live stream. I actually fix shit, so it is what it is. Well, all right, everybody, that just about does it for this one. So if you like what you heard and like what you saw, please give your boy a thumbs up because I appreciate that. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet to feel the whole madness and swag of Dan Tanner, please do that too because I appreciate that too. Hi right, everybody, get money, get respect, and enjoy your tech. Be easy.